guys and gals. It's gaming time. And it's your friendly or not necromage. And yeah, I've gotten some stuff done off camera. I got carried a little bit of a way. I got a little bit carried away. Uh, however you want to organize that sentence works for me. Uh, and then I realized, hey, I need to be recording some of this stuff and not just doing it. Because I do off-camera boring work and then I go to work and on other stuff. Uh, yeah. I may have gotten a little carried away with some stuff. So we shall take a tour. I did stop doing what I was doing so that we could do it together. So without further ado, whoosh! Um, let's see. We got that going. I made this little infinite power lava source thing. Lava fabricator, magnetic dynamo, tanks. And then when those those guys over there run low, I just put one up on top of there and it sucks it all in. Made a Project Rednet computer system thingamajigger with a lot of storage. We're gonna have to go na 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 so I didn't really do this on camera, but I did give myself massive storage. Uh, we're not even touching half of it yet. We're not even halfway down here. Alright, that one's full. That one's almost full. So yeah, we've uh, we got four pages and it's just that. So we're going to be good for a while. And that's pretty much all... I wanted it for was for storage. Back to Necromage. <laughs> Look at that. Woof. Anyways, I tried to do the auto crafting pipes and they kept crashing the server, so I figured I really don't need auto crafting. I just put one of these bad boys right here. I'll call up some wood. I will do like, uh, I want to make a, a chest. And we'll get some wood pop up in here, and then we can just grab it from the crafting table and go to town. So it's not that inconvenient. I just throw that in there, and it goes whoosh. In a second, it'll go whoosh, see whoosh. And now it's in here. So that is one of the things I did. Another thing was I got my witchery and necromancy room, and I kind of already got my. This is where my enchantment room is going to be. So that'll be the chanting table and then the bookshelves all around it. That'll be all by itself, just in, in the room. I have another request pipe right here because I do a lot of my work in these two rooms now. We'll save that little peek for a little bit. Uh, and here, I haven't actually dug it out yet. I want to have my brewing. I want to have my brewing um, brain farts. My brewing brain farts. My brewing uh, lab room. Brewing room. Yeah, that works. So then we got the necromancy room, which is just barely coming together right now. I want to fill that whole wall with shelves and get all my materials on there. Right now everything's just kind of crammed into here. So, yeah. I did make one minion, but that's it. The real minion maker is Dr. Blockhead. I think he's got like 10 of them already. I think he's made like, yeah, I think, I think like 10, 10, 12, 15, something like that. He's going nuts. And then we got butcher room, which needs my key to get in. Otherwise, it just stays there. We'll move. Ah, uh, yeah. Spanish moss is growing nicely. I did pretty much just some of the grunt work in this. Now that we've gotten stuff growing and we've gotten some of the basics, um, 
So you got a whiff of magic in here. Some wood ash. Toss the wood ash in here. Whiff of magic goes up here. Uh, yeah. So I pretty much made... I don't have any more because I used it. Uh, Mutandus. This stuff right here. Wood ash. Cactus green. Hint of rebirth. Bone meal. Egg. And mandrake root. That's what I'm waiting on to make more. Because I still need my hawthorn sapling. I have managed to get an elder and Rowan with this. I've also managed to get some Spanish moss, which are some important things you need. But that took uh, 16, uh, whatever 8 times 3 is. That took that many. And then I ran out of mandrake roots because I only have one, two plants growing out there. So I was waiting on that. I decided to start making some more of this because I know a lot of these will be used later. And then I, I went and found my Spanish moss by using the mutandus. Actually, I wasn't going out looking for Spanish moss. It just happened to pop up looking for the hawthorn. So I planted it down here, give it a kind of an eerie look. Got the wood on the ground. These are actually wood walls behind here. Uh, some flowers. And this is Kenny, my minion. I have yet to name him because I don't have a proper ball yet. And then this is one of Dr. Blackhead's creations that he left to be friends with Kenny over here. All right, Kenny, you making buddies over there or are you guys just not talking? Uh, anyways, so I have some leaves back here, some flowers, natural stuff, all wood floor. And we have this up to 1377. Eventually I will make the whole room wood. And maybe a couple more spots with just flowers because I kind of like the way that feels. Maybe wood behind that, yeah. Wood on that wall. And then have some wood up here, but have some holes like this, and then have Spanish moss coming down. You know, more of the middle. So I had that going in natural magic, and it looked really, really eerie and cool. And, well, witchery. Made one of these. Made one of these. Haven't really used a whole bunch of stuff. Haven't really gotten deep into it. I have made two poppets just basic poppets haven't set them to anything or anybody right now like i said just gathering a lot a lot of this is from when i went to go out and gather more stuff i don't have a uh, a dump station down here yet so everything i gotta get rid of just goes right in here uh we'll go like that 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 and that I put my armor on. I just don't like hearing animals, even though they're all above me. It just creeps me out, which is like perfect, though. So this is supposed to be the evil lair. <laughs> so it should sound creepy. It means it's doing its job. Anyways, uh, what was I gonna do? Uh, we were gonna burn some of these alder saplings in the witch's oven. I forget what they give me. Uh, they give us something. Oh, foul fume does that. Exhale of Hornblown. Breath of the Goddess. Hint of Rebirth. Whiff of Magic. Reek of Misfortune. <laughs> and then Odor of Purity, I guess, is Hawthorne Sapling. But I also got Odor of Purity. Reek of Misfortune. Odor of Purity. When I made Diamond Vapor. And that in here is diamond and oil vit vitriol. Uh, yeah, so that gave me some odor of purity. Odor. And then uh, up there, I just have a couple empty glass bottles. Yeah, there's not much else that I've been doing. Forget about that once in a while. I did change a little tweak on the outside of the house. I put uh, carpenter's blocks where we we bordered it up. So it's the same same color and everything. It just has a smoother look to it. And I, I was happy with it, so we did that. Yeah. Anyways, I need to get a pulverizer, and then I could make a lot of string from these guys.
yeah. And then Dr. Blockhead built a a building for everybody. If they have a Minecraft uh, account, I think we'll put like a statue in here or something. Yeah, I think, no, I don't know. I think this is statues. I think it is. Anyways, so if you're a subscriber of mine or his, um, I believe you get your statue down here. Uh, I know on his channel he's letting letting his viewers or subscribers or something like that name his minions, his mini mini minions. One of which, one of which is right there. I think he's got a minion on every floor, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go down real quick. Yep, there's another minion. Another minion. <laughs> And then we have the secret door over here. He's got a little pet. Uh. There's his pet. And another minion. So this is his buddy. He's named Toothless. And this guy he hasn't had a name for yet. Which is probably one of the goofiest ones I've seen him make. But anyways... This is how he takes his dragon for a spin. I thought that was pretty neat. So yeah. This is his little dragon habitat. He's uh, terraformed it a little bit. I like it. I like it. I like it. Anyways. Enough about that. Let's go visit his other minions, shall we? Alright, we met these two. We met that one that's behind there. That's uh, Mingor in uh, homage to PSJ, Paul Sars Jr.'s Igor. Um, then we have... We have one up here somewhere, don't we? This is his storeroom. Which is really cool because behind that wall is his massive quantities of uh, reinforced lockers, which go into his setup. And then this locker is his dump chest. So I'm going to give him an egg. I'll give him an egg. As if he doesn't have enough of those. <laughs> this is going to be the computer room, I guess. I don't know. Display room. Does he have a minion up here yet? I don't think so. Hmm. Does he have a minion in this room yet? No. He has a chicken in the bathtub, though. That's kind of... That's <laughs> kind of, uh... Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm... Let's see here. I think I need to move my uh, air balloon. I think it's in the, in the handicap spot or something. Minion room. Wah. Hmm. Illegally parked there. Eh? I saw nothing. Nothing. Nobody saw anything, right? I didn't think so. Let's go take this bad boy over here. My hot rod. Yeah. What a hot rod we got here. Woo. Look at us. So cool. All right. Where am I? Um, we're just going to plop this old guy. Let's plop it over here somewhere. Let's hit the brakes. There we go. Uh, oh, oh, you can just stay parked there for a while. And yeah. Yep, there we go. Up and out of the way. All right, and then I was starting to work on the hallways down here. 
something and I was like, no, John, you have to just record, start recording. So we will do the hallways. I want to make them, oh, drop my XP here. I would like to make them feel more comfortable. So yes, I was doing the birch. And then I kind of want to do oak on the bottom. So let's actually I have. And then where's the oak? Let's do about let's do a stack of those guys. And yeah. We'll drop that into those. We'll do this. Pull my chest, pull these eyes out. But we need to put the, this stuff in. Gunpowder, string, rocket, and feather, muscle, and spider eye, and a sign. I don't know where the sign came from. Wink, wink. And then, yeah. We shall get on with it. So that means I got to get my carpenter's hammer. I know I could search for it, but there it is. Let's grab that bad boy out of here, and then I could knock the uh, the birch off of this. I don't know if I want birch. I might want uh, spruce, so it's like a third color in there. That would be kind of nice. And then I have an idea for the lighting, too. We'll be putting uh, like a glowstone or something down in the middle of the pathway walkway, uh, hallway, whatever kind of way it is, as long as it's not in the way. <laughs> See what I did there? Har -har -har -har. And then we go like this, and we have that done. Where's our torches? Right here. So we'll put these back up real quick. Now we got birch. Or we have oak. Or let's get us some spruce wood real quick. And then we have the spruce to act as a nice. Hmm. I don't know which one would be best. Don't know. So we will leave that as that for now. We'll let you guys decide, maybe. Do you like the birch? The spruce? Or the oak? Better. Let's, uh... Let's do this real quick. So that we can see what it looks like from bottom, too. Oops. Let's get this guy out of the way. Put these torches back here. There. So a full blend, a dark contrast, or a light contrast, which is not really showing up great because the third ones always seem to be darker. So yeah. Anyways, I'll leave that like that. Leave, uh, leave a comment. And I will change them to that color, including those ones up there and probably all these ones as well. So until then, where did I put the one I was actually using away? There we go. We will just continue about our business doing the floors. I haven't done anything upstairs yet. I haven't even put the roof on it yet, sadly. I have been doing a lot of that. Busy work. We need to put some torches. Here we go. And I did have a hamster for a little bit. And then I let him out so I could feed him. Because I captured him wild. I let him out to feed him. He ate like two of my seeds. And then I had to go get more. By the time I went outside and back, he despawned on me. So, err. I'll have to find another one sometime. Get this floors going. I just built all kinds of tunnels and hallways everywhere. So that I am free to build whatever rooms and underground areas I would like. I do want to 
build a underground like terrarium type thing. I have like trees, grass, all the good stuff. Make you feel like you're right on right on the surface world, but you're far underground. And the necromages lair. So that is going to be down somewhere down here. One of these hallways. Probably a lot deeper, so it'll probably be a, a room going down, kind of like the the witch's room, which is necromancy and stuff. It'll probably be a lot like that. Then we have... There we go. How much more oak do I have? I have one more stack. So we'll finish off the oak, then we'll do the walls and birch. Kind of make it a little happier down here, even though it is supposed to be an evil dark lair. Who says evil necromages don't want a little bit of color in their underground stuff? That's why they keep it hidden, so you don't know that they do like it. Mwaha. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Last stack here. Let's go down this other hall. Actually, let's go down. Let's go down here. Because this stuff needs to be done too. I have my uh, nether wart going for the brewing room. Almost getting there we are getting there put one here take this out this out this out put a torch back here put a torch right here Let's see if we can get done. In case I ever decide to move any of those things up, I won't have to do this. There. We've gotten this floor done. Let's get the, the doorways that don't have a door in them yet. Let's get those guys out of the way. There. Now for the walls. Let's knock that out quick. Drop this in there. There we go. So far, so good. Let's get that arch going again. The way I had it. Yes, buddy. Get all the hidden stuff, even though nobody can see it. I know it's there. Oh, there's my witch room. Find my Spanish mouse. I sure hope I don't break anything by killing this. Close. There we go. Much better. Shoot. Hope I don't break anything by doing this either. Here goes. Awesome. It didn't break. I wonder if that in having this this wood in here has increased that. 1377? What was it before? I forget. Maybe? Hopefully it increased it. Hopefully that's the whole reason that it went up. If it went up. I do not know. But we will keep going down this hallway like this. And like this. And go boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. Singing the building song. Take it out 
here. Well, bam. Then we got this to deal with. That there. That there. Voila. There we go. We've got that wall done. Oh. Bump my funny bone. It's not so funny, is it? <laughs> Alright. That's oh shoot. Oh well, I'll just reconnect that guy. Where did he go? Right there. Are we good? Ah, oh, we are good. Okay. I did that with the Tinker's Room, too. I was getting rid of the shelves on the back wall to move them forward a little bit. So I was like, hey, let's use the lumber racks. And it took out all of my Tinker's Tables as well. That was fun. But luckily I didn't have that many patterns in there, so... It didn't, uh, didn't completely fill me up and then leave floating stuff like it usually does when I accidentally break that. Do, 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 do. I should probably eat a little bit, huh? Nom 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 nom. Uh. Ooh, pardon moi. Alrighty, we'll take care of this little guys. Boom. Always done. Now I just need to do the ceiling too. I don't know what I'm going to do the ceiling. I have not decided that one yet. I really have not. I don't know what I should do the ceiling. Not quite sure if I'm going to do like a stone. Or maybe I'll do like all glowstone. That'd be expensive. I'll be doing something. Just not sure what. Or if I'll stick with wood. Well, depending on how much iron I get. Maybe like iron blocks, chisels or something. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Something will pop into my head. I'll be like, oh yeah, that would look so cool. And maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know. Thermal expansion stuff. I don't have a whole lot made yet. But, uh, why is that? I must have accidentally clicked it with the uh, little crescent hammer we have here. You know, I'm thinking of making this beam like solid wood. Like the log. That would be cool. I think I'm going to do that instead. So I'm just going to pull this and this and this out. Click up there, click up there, click up there. Oh, on the side, hello. Just finish up this. There, looking much, much better, much better. Let's uh, let's finish this one up. I think I want to make that corner a post as well. So we will just come back here, finish up this birch wall, and I think I want to make that like an oak pillar or something. Let's do that. Let's go get some oak quick before we finish this episode off. Let's dump the cobblestone in there. Let's dump all the wood in there. The hammer back in there. Let's get some actual... Oh, we could try spruce wood too. Let's get five. Let's get six of each. And we'll get six of this. Alright. Now let's see which would look better. Ah, uh, shush, zombie. Shush. 
Oh, no, come on. So you got this. Or we have this. I don't know. I kind of like them both. I like that contrast. So we, we shall see on that. I'm going to leave those two and tell me which ones you like. Do you like the regular just brown oak or do you like the darker spruce that really seems to pop nicely with that birch and then the, the ceiling i'm not sure what we'll do here maybe maybe we'll stick with jungle wood or something or maybe we'll do chiseled cobble or chiseled stone we'll do something we shall do something Yeah, so I'm going to go dump this back into the, uh, the chest. It does work really slow. I do not have the upgrade chips on it yet, but you can upgrade it to work really, really fast, which I will be doing eventually. This is just a lot of work with all the stupid chips I had to put in there. And then you'd have to upgrade uh, every chip, I think. I'm not sure. I have to look into that. But yeah, I think I can just get rid of them. Oh, you were in the wrong part of the chest there, guys. You were in the wrong part of the chest. You're supposed to be in that part of the chest. Alrighty. I still have only two tickers to this. All our diamonds so far. So, which stairs and which pillars? Yeah. And then on that note, folks, thank you for watching yet another episode of Double J Plays Attack of the Beat Team. Stay tuned for uh, episode four and possibly many more. Actually, what do you mean possibly? Hopefully many, many more. There's lots to do in this mod pack. Take it easy, zombie squad, and I'll see you on the next one.